The Wii U was better than the Wii in almost every way. Not. Uh, uh, okay. That was a bad one. But seriously, though, what's up, everyone? I'm Jay, the Mighty Mespert. Um, and and you, I haven't done a question video in a very long time. I actually haven't done a video in like forever. Like I'm actually won't. I'm actually willing to do um a series of video where I talk about some of my favorite videos. Anyway, get on that. Let's get back to business. So today I'm gonna to be showing you my Wii collection. Uh, the the Wii collection is not my biggest collection I have that on the go to Xbox 360 which you can probably see over there but yeah um and also this is a the first this is the first video that you guys are watching is in a in a very brand new angle so now just a heads up before we begin um the Wii was the very first system I I ever owned um as a kid so like one time my dad bought it for me um I believe my dad bought one for me back maybe 2007 something like that but and i've been collecting for pretty much i not only been collecting, i've been collecting games like true started true true collecting thing and probably since 2016 okay i had a lot of some games back then but i start and, and now pretty much i have at um i believe last time i did how i will say this um i did have to sell one of my third party weekends i kind of was an idiot but i got a but I did get a P PS Vita for that, but we're not gonna talk about the PS Vita today, so unfortunately. But but yeah, I got, I traded on my third party weekends, but I did get some some of those back. So I don't have all of them that I got back, unfortunately. But I am we'll keeping track of them. Oh, keep an eye out for them. Anyway, so you know something? Let's get started. I'm not gonna waste your time. Uh. I'm, this will be a long, a little bit of a long video because I'm going to explain for, not going to explain all uh, in full description for all of them. Like, of course, I got some filler titles. I got a big box. I will, the last, I will say the last thing we're going to do uh, for the collection are this stack, which, which that's actually my more rarer game. So we're going to save that for last. And I will tell you where I got them. Um, so, anyway, let's get started. And, and before we begin, cl click that like button. Then and don't forget to subscribe, and I hope you enjoy. So let's get started with the. I gotta get started with this box just to get it out of the way because it is taking up some space. We have um an EA Active um with the big box, uh, which is pretty cool. So, oh uh, and so now that we got that out of the way, um we're gonna start with the fair results. I don't have much to explain about those. Pet Sports. Pajama Sam, AMF Bowling Pin Busters, Jumpstart, um, uh, I believe this is Jumpstart Escape from Adventure Iron. Yeah, that's what it's called. Never playing that. I'm never going to play that one. Sitting with this game right here. Just Dance, Kids. I'm not, a, I'm a big boy. I'm not a kid. Mid mid uh mid makers orbs of doom yeah that's what's called. By the way, it's actually very late in the evening. Probably the better are the filler titles. Not sure, so sorry, I had two more. Of them. Uh, Big Bang Academy, read the gray. Uh, we ski and snowboard. Uh, SSX Burr, and probably the better out of all the weed, um, probably all the better, the, um, the filler, um, these are not super common games, but they're not rare, you can get them for super cheap, they're not really games I would ever play, and those are Weed Rabbit, First Grade, and Weed Rabbit, Second Grade, um, these, I, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna speak about these games, but I will tell you where I got these, I got these from, um, from Alec, um, was a really great friend of mine so yeah, and i'm and i and ever since um i believe nintendo twice or mentioned them ever since he mentioned that these were pretty hard to find i had to keep an eye out and and thank god i kept an eye out because i found i found them from i did not okay i did not get them off ebay i did get it from my friend so other than that very very glad despite the fact that they're educational games for kids very glad to have those so the rest of these um most of these are going to be in no particular order um 
except for of course this deck which we will do last last but anyway um let's get started with this deck and it's close to okay 10 you can see it to eh, 10 you can see it to my um right but it's actually um whatever anyway we have punch out uh this is a, this is an awesome game i haven't beaten this one uh it's actually pretty difficult but pretty awesome game and actually i should probably put this um now so there we go that's game number one done and no now i'll just put it on the floor anyway New Super Mario Bros. Wii. I just played this one. I was just playing this one before making this video. Um, I have beaten this game a long time ago. Um, pretty awesome game. Oop, this game. This is actually a game I never hear people talking about. Yeah, this is actually a sports game. But the reason why I'm putting it in the better titles is because this is probably one of the best sports games I've ever played. Aid. Like, I, I am so happy I got to play this game because this is such an amazing game. I love this game so much. And I'll explain why when I show it. It's MLB Power Pros. I, I know what you're thinking, this is a baseball game. The reason why this game is amazing is actually because of, this, of the campaign. The campaign turns the game from a some sort of baseball game to a dating, to a, some sort of simulation or dating sim. The simulation or dating sim is, is actually the reason why why i love this game so much there's a full campaign and in fact you you actually care about the characters in a baseball game which is actually really amazing if you have not played this game please play this game it's so damn good uh, and i don't need people talking about it as well um sam max beyond time and space uh i have not played this one in a long time i actually have played this game so i know about this game um I just haven't played it because I, I want to get the other Sam Max game, which is season one before playing this. Because usually with Sam Max games on Telltale's, you want to play them in order. And Sam Max came, season one came first. Like, it's also known as Save the World, but whatever. Sam and Mango. I actually don't have much to say about this one. Ooh, this is a game I had um, as a kid. Good. Um, oh, yeah, Skated. Good. Um... Uh, um, it's, I don't know what to say about this one. Okay, it's not good, but not horrible. I mean, the controls can be better. Ooh. This one has a surprising history. Um, I have a surprising history with this game. Star Wars Force of Witch 2. I had the Wii version of this game as a kid. I sold it while some of my other third-party games. I got it for 360, so I can knock off this set. I got rid of it, and then I got it back again for the Wii. Which is I don't know why, but when I saw this, I and this is this is the one I'm keeping. I did own this game as a kid. The first time I got this game, I got it from Kmart. But the second time I got it, I got it from GameStop. This is probably gonna need the condition upgrade because you can. I don't think you can see, but these things really make them uncomfortable. So it's gonna need the condition upgrade. Which if I do post the condition upgrade, I'll, I'll mention it. Um. Um. Super Mario All Stars. Um, this is probably at the time this was the only way I can play Super Mario All Stars, which is a Super Nintendo game. But, but um, I never at the back then I never owned a Super Nintendo. Yeah, I did not. I was not a Super Nintendo kid, so I was a weak seven generation kid. So, but still pretty awesome they did that. Okay, sorry for that, guys. My, um, we have Resident Evil Zero. This is Resident Evil Archives. There are a few Resident Evil games on the Wii. Um, I have this one. I I don't have Resident Evil Four or the remake or the the, the original one, the Watch Gun series on the Wii, which is Umbrella Chronicles and Dark Side Chronicles. But I'm very glad to have them. I gotta keep my voice down though because people are sleeping. Um. Ooh. I'm actually gonna save this one for last. Um. Last. Um. Actually, we'll do this one first. Sonic and the Secret Rings. Oh, ooh, a lot of people hate this game, but I personally love it. Because I had this game as a kid. Alright, sorry about that, guys. So, Sonic Secret Rings. Alright, next up we have Sonic Unleashed. I I did own this game as a kid. Um, When I had this game as a kid, I, I, don't, I didn't have it complete. I, I don't think I had this game complete. Now I do have this game complete. And, yeah, pretty. this is an awesome Sonic game. 
I also have it on the 360, um, which you could probably see right over there. I also have a 360, but got the Wii one as well. So, yeah, also have Sonic Colors. Awesome game. I'm actually missing the manual for this one. You could probably see. I don't have a manual for this one, and I don't know if there's any manuals. Um, uh, I think that goes through the same for another, a few games. Um, this looks like a bad fishing. Yeah, I think it did. Um, if anyone has a manual for this game, please let me know. Um, I'm not looking to have to buy a complete copy. Just to, and, and also we have SNK Arcade Classic Mix Volume 1. That very awesome game. Very glad to have it. Alright, so I'm going to pause. Um, put this game's away. This game's away. After that, we'll go to the next stack. Alright, moving on to stack number three. We have Epic Mickey. I got stuck on this one, but it's actually a really good game. Um, the only thing I don't like about this game is the controls, but I think that's so good. And yes, it is complete. You can probably see. I'm okay, not this way, but cool. Also, we have. Boom blocks, blocks. Very awesome game. This was actually made by Steven Spielberg, who of course made the uh, well, some of the greatest masterpieces, including Jaws, E.T., Back to the Future, Jurassic Park. This was made by him. He also created Medal of Honor, but it's so pretty cool that he made th this. is by Steven Spielberg. I think that would never happen, but it did. Batman on the Brave and the Bold. For some reason, I always think. Some reason I think the disc is always loose, like this thing. I don't think it's loose, but it's actually a really good game. This is actually developed by WayForward, who developed the Shantae games, which is actually pretty cool. All right, next up we have Centipede Infestation. I I beat this game a few a few months ago. This is an awesome game. Game, of course, developed by WayForward once again, but this is an awesome game. Very glad I got to play this. Um, it's only going to take 35 stages, but but this is an awesome stage. Anyone has, I'm sorry, this is an awesome game. Anyone has played this, please play it. It's such a good game. Okay. Boombox, bo Bust and Move Bash. Bust and Move is awesome, but this game is not good. Hate the, I really don't like this game. Cause the controls really suck. Mm, never played this game before. The Bob. So, I have to play it. Call of Duty World at War. Um, pretty awesome game, I guess. Ooh, I... Oh my god. Um, Dance of Revolution, Hottest Party 2. Um, first of all, just get out of the way. I don't have a manual for this one, so... Anyone who has a manual, please let me know. Um, that's the first thing. Second, this is actually a pretty good, cool game. Um, uh, dancing... And Dance, then the R and the Wii, pretty cool. The only thing I don't like about this game is you have to use the Wii remote and nunchuck. The specific move that you have to use the Wii remote and nunchuck, and most of the time it does not work. Like I am not joking, it just really doesn't work because of the fact that that because of that, this is probably one of the weakest games. This is probably one of the weakest games in the Dance of Evolution series. Or DDR. It's not as bad as something like the uh, Universe on 360. You, okay, I tell you, you need the pad, but you can use the controller in that one. So as long as you use the controller, that's what really counts. Power Ranger Samurai. Here's a pretty awesome game. It's actually a beat em up. Pretty awesome game with the graphics until I got stuck within the second boss. Next up, we have Nanko Musa and Mega Max. Pretty awesome. Uh, now, actually, I am not a fan of this one. The Pac-Man mini game is really bored for me. Um, ooh. Here's the one I actually did have as a kid. Um, I did have this game as a kid, and back then I loved it, but nowadays it's not fun to play anymore. Anyone who's, play who's seen Panda Bad Gamer knows about this game, and that's My Sin's Kingdom. Um, um... Uh, I don't think I'm gonna play this game again. Um, I beat it, I beat it like for a third time. I I I done three playthroughs of this game, three full playthroughs, and I have beat this game three times. So I don't think I'm going to play this game again. And, um, but, but speaking of better games in the series, okay, 
This game, this is another game that I do not hear, I don't hear a lot of people talking about. Maybe this time, I'll just a pain about the gamer. If you have not played this game, please, please play this game. This game is so damn good. Um, if you see, if you see my Instagram, you probably know that know about this game. But this is such an amazing, an awesome game. It's pretty, it's 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 very dark. This is a very pretty dark game, and you'll see why. Um, and that's my Sims agents. Um, this is one of the more darker Sims games. Um, and 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 the reason for that um is probably because of how it begins and how it with the cases and and pretty much the ending. I'm not gonna spoil the ending for you guys. I highly recommend you play it for yourself. But I will say it, it is pretty sad. That's the only thing I'm gonna say about the ending. It's sad. Sad. Other than that, and I was pretty upset. But other than that. That's the only thing I'm saying. I'm not going to spoil the ending for you. You have to play the game for yourself. But, pretty awesome game. This game can get cryptic at times. Games, but, other than that, this is an awesome game. I don't hear people talking about it. But anyway. Next up, we have... Uh, probably the last of the stack three. We have Monster Hunter Do It Try. Amazing game. Um... I love this game so much. Um, I don't okay. I I don't love it as Monster Hunter World, but that's on my first introduction to Monster Hunter. But which is I but oh wait, let me explain. I have played Monster Hunter World, and I love that game so much that I I I went back and I got then I to play the other Monster Hunter games. I want to play the other Monster Hunter games and find out the backstory of those of the series. So very glad I played this game. I cannot wait for Monster Hunter Rise. I don't know about stories too, but Monster Hunter Rise I cannot wait for. That's gonna be it's gonna be an awesome game. Maybe we got stories too. And also, um, one more thing. I have seen the trailer for the Monster Hunter movie, which I'm very glad we got the trailer. So, so yeah. Anyway, anyway now we're moving on to stack number four. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, we're gonna move on to stack number four now. So we have Excite Truck. Next up, we have Warrior and Shake It. I just beat this game very not too long ago. This is an awesome game. Um, Wario is this. This is what the Warrior and game I liked Wario the most. Like just because of how much it's how Wario is. Like, he is such an awesome badass in this game. Some of the bosses can be pretty unfair there, but but I did I do I did like the final boss, which was just shaking. Pretty awesome game, and also um, oh um, this game here has an anime art style compared to other games in the Mario universe. So it's actually pretty cool that they did that, and I hope they do this again in the future. Next up, we have another awesome hidden gem that's second wiki Casper Barbados for sure. Her um. Very, I haven't got far in this one because I'm, I'm I don't even get this one, but pretty awesome game. Next up, we have my Wii series of games. Um, we have three of them to show. Um, actually, I'm sorry, this one just should have saved this for the filler, but I couldn't. I couldn't because it's one of the best selling games, period, and that's Wii Play. I um, I don't have much to say, so I'm gonna say this. Okay. We play a boom and that's out of Manas. Manas. Yes, I can speak a, a different language for that one. Okay, basically it's got the last it, but but, but it's actually pretty cool. I, I can do that. It, and by the sense where we play do you is that right? I'm, and I'm referencing that from the Scott the Wasp episode, which I have seen. Also, have Wii Sports Resort. Mu is an amazing game. And the motion controls may not be as good as this one, but it's still an awesome game. And also, we have, I have Wii Party. This is a pretty uncommon game, but I didn't think it was super rare, so or super expensive, so I put this as uh, um, for best titles. Um, I just have something to tell you. I actually got, in the, in the house party game, Word Bronk, I got, um, I got three, while playing with my brother, I got 333 words in under the name 
category in the under category Nintendo. I'm not joking. I'm serious. Um, and, and it was one of the most fun funniest things I ever experienced because I never thought I'd actually beat that record, but I did. And it, that's how made awesome this game is. If, 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 but that's what it is. Fun. As long as you have the fun, it makes the game amazing. Next up, we have Tales of Symphonia: Dawn of the New World. World. Um, pretty cool game. I. I I don't think I'm good at this compared to other Tales games, but I think the furthest I've gone for a Tales game, probably Tales of, maybe Tales of Bizarre or Hesperia. I don't know, but pretty awesome game. We also have two pretty uncommon games. Um, games. Um, we have Pinball Hall of Fame, um, the Williams Collection. You could probably, I don't know if you guys can see this. Is this somebody? This this probably might be sun faded. Um, I don't think you can tell, but this is actually pretty. Yeah, this is sun faded. I don't know if I can tell. Pretty awesome pinball game. You also have One Piece on One Minute Adventure. I actually got this from GameStop. Um, this is a pretty uncommon game. For a while, it used to be rare, but it's not anymore. And that's the end of stack four, so let me pause so I can put the games up, oh, and, then, and then we'll move on to stacks five and six. And Alright, now we're going to do um, stacks five, six, and seven, which is basically, which, you, which is basically this, this, and this, and then after that, the last stack will be my more rarer games, and of course I'll tell I'll explain where I got it, and I will tell you how much they're gonna go for. They're gonna, they will send you back. Um, but anyway, um, for my embarrassment, um, yep. Super Monkey Ball Banana, but it's a terrible game. I hate this game so much. I don't want to talk about it. Um, oh, I did not show this game. Uh, Sega Bath Switching. Um, this is actually pretty surprising. Um. During one of the one time during the world I actually saw Sonic in a, in a cameo. I was actually so surprised I did that. Um, again, this game has I don't have a manual for this one, so I've actually been looking for a manual for this one for quite some time. So anyone who has a manual, please let me know. Oh, I'm not willing to spend like for another complete copy. Um, maybe I might do a Switch game. We have. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, the Nickelodeon one. Now, that's kind of surprising that I have this. Because I actually just saw, um, uh, um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, I just saw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, um, the move, the first movie, um, this year. So, and, and celebration of the first movie's 30th anniversary. So, it's pretty cool that I have this. Um, and once again, I got this from Alex, so, pretty cool. All right, what's next? Oh, Super Paper Mario. Um, not as good as Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. Um, but pretty awesome game. Um, once again, I do not have a manual, so I'm actually gonna put a description. Um, matter of fact, um, I when I make the, upload this video, there's gonna be a description for games I'm still missing manuals. So okay, technically you'll see, you'll know some of those games, but um. But, um, so, it's, and, and by the way, those games that will be in the description, and will be the ones I need manuals for, so, if you read the description, you probably know which ones I have, but, they, all the, the, those whistles will be the ones I don't have manuals for. So, anyone that has a manual for these, um, I'm, and I'm putting them in the description, because if anyone has a manual and they'd like to hook me up with one, please let me know, um, as soon as possible, especially with one of them which we'll get to. Um wait wait in the video. Um we also have Pokemon Battle Revolution. And how many Pokemon Stadium one and two? They're not as good as those. Ooh. I'm just gonna show these two together, just this way. Poke Park Wii and Poke Park 2 when this beyond. And um uh, I think I like this one more compared to this one, but that might be my opinion. Alright. Ooh. 
I, d I was just playing this game on Mario Kart Wii. I was just playing this game recently. I don't think I'm going to play this game again because the computer is super cheap. But I want to show you guys some, tell you something. For the first time, after, after all this time, I've officially unlocked a fast dive ghost. And, you, and basically to unlock two of the characters, you need to unlock four to eight. Actually three because one of them, the second costume for your me, you have to unlock, um, you have to unlock, um, uh, I believe 32 fast dive ghosts. It's super difficult, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to play this game again because it's CPU, but, or AI, but so pretty cool. But it's an awesome game. Also, we have Super Smash Bros. Well, very disappointing game. Um, game. um, I was not a fan of this. I am not, not a fan of the Super Smash Bros. Mainly because they mainly focused on the single player and not the um, the multiplayer being a good fighting game. So this is probably my least favorite game and then Super Smash Bros. This is kind of a shame because Super Smash Bros. is one of my favorite franchises and this one was much more dark and I don't think it worked. So yeah. Oh, and speaking of disappointing, um, two games of the same franchise that there are very disappointing. Thing. Mario Party 8 and 9. Um, I actually like Mario Party 9 as a good theory pressure. But, this, but Mario Party 8, I just do not like. And also something you should be surprised about. This is, this is, this, you can see this, this thing. This is probably the South Arabia version. I don't know if this is like some sort of variant. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know if this is just like some, some sort of variant that I have. So if anyone, if it's a variant, please let me know in the comments. And I'll, I'll, I'll post it on, I will post it on Instagram and I'll tell you guys if, if it is. Subscribe to again. I also have Mario Power Tennis. Never playing this game again. The controls on this for this version of Mario Kart Tennis are really bad. Never playing this game again. Uh, Mario Super Sluggers. Hmm. I, I haven't played this game in so long, but I might go back to it. The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Yes, um, pretty awesome Zelda game. I don't have Scarlet Sword, but I had this one for a while. Pretty, pretty awesome game. And also we have, oh god, I love both of these games. Um, Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy Two. Ooh. I love, I love this, both of these games. I love Galaxy Two a lot more. And this is the first game I officially got hundred percent for. Okay, I know I didn't do the Ouija Galaxy, 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 Galaxy finale, but I'm still counting as I got hope over 120 stars in both Mario Ouija mode, so I'm counting as 100 percent And this game I got 120 stars for I'm not going for the green stars. Okay, I'm not going for the green stars for this one. So on that skill I'm not going for the green stars. I'm counting this as 100 percent And Okay, technically it might be 75, but I know this is a perfect one, but... And also we have... Ooh, pretty cool game. Next up we have... Mad World. Uh, Mad World. Wait, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't say it right, but yeah, Mad World. Very awesome and rated game on the Wii. And this is like $10. You can get this game for $10. It might be 15 I I am checked on this one, but... This is an awesome game. It just it kind of feels like a comic from Sin City, which is a very awesome comic series. But haven't read it, but pretty awesome, pretty awesome game. game. And, and, and Ultimate Adventure was the first. It was the first pandemic games game they ever did. So, which is about it with as well by Hideki Kamiya, who did um, Devil May Cry, um, possibly Okami, and of course Bayonetta. So. Which I do not have banned for the new 16 Also, Vanquish as well. But also, yeah. I'm going to show these two together just to save some time. Kirby Stream Co Epic Yarn and Kirby Stream Collection. I like Dream Collection a bit more. Epic Yarn was fine. 
There's one stage in particular that really pisses me off. It's in this part, um, the new challenge stages. Um, the final race with Magawar and the X level. One of the hardest things I've ever experienced in my life. I'm not joking. Alright, next up we have... Oh, there's a Michael game, so... Let's do those. Those, um... Lego Batman 2 DC Superheroes. Lego Harry Potter Year's 5 through 7. Um, and Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. I'm very excited for the Skywalker Saga coming out. I love, I love this game as a kid. Um, also, here, once again, no manual, so... I need a manual for this one, but... Pretty awesome game. I think I liked, um... I'm not right to wake up Harry Potter. Um, I'm not the biggest Harry Potter fan. Um, although I need to see the films. I have played, I've been playing, I have played this one, especially recently. I will, I am really liking this game. And, and, and the music is really good. And I've been working for this one for a while. I don't have the 360 version, but I am on the hunt for that as well. It's a pretty awesome game. Next up. Ooh, I'm actually gonna show this game first. Um, before I show you that one. I hate this game. Very, very park. Yeah. I don't know you can see if I gave the middle finger to it. I, yeah, I, I know you can see, but... That I gave the middle finger to it. I hate that game so much. Anyway, um... Next up we have... Excitebots Trick Racing. And, um... Pretty awesome game. It can't be a little difficult, but pretty awesome. Did I show Excitrack or hmm, I think I did. Yeah, I did. I did show Excitrack, so this is one of them. Pretty awesome game. Also, we have oh yes, love this game. Guitar Hero Three: Legends of Rock. Uh, I, I love rock music. This has some of my favorite songs, period. Like, it has, um, Mississippi Queen, um, uh, where is it? It's always a good one, but I'm not a fan of that one. Oh, what was that? What was that? Um, school, school, uh, school for one. <gasps> School's out. Love school out for some of yeah, that, that one. Very awesome game. I love this game so much. And, Believe it or not, I actually have the guitar, um, I actually have the guitar, um, you know, in my closet. Um, it's just that I don't know you can see, but it's in my closet. And I'm, ooh, surprisingly even cooler than, uh, uh, than Guitar Hero. We have DJ Hero, baby. No, seriously. I mean, this is, this is an awesome, these two games are very awesome. Um, um. Um, I did, I have, I got DJ Hero and DJ Hero 2. DJ Hero I actually had for a while, so this is my original copy, believe it or not. Um, DJ Hero 2, it's actually, I found it to be much better than DJ Hero 1. Mainly because it's, it's weird, because you get, you get, you get more customization. Um, and on top of that, there's backup dancers in this one, which, I got, that's my only complaint with this game. Um, yeah, that's actually one of my complaints about this game. You can get really distracted with, with the backup dancers, um, and they can really distract their progress. Um, cause they do, they can do lots of cool acrobatics, like cartwheel, backflip, or split. And they, and that can really distract you, and when you're supposed to be doing the DJ, so, that's kind of one of my complaints with this one, but pretty awesome. Hmm. Um, actually, I'm gonna show these two games together, I can't remember if I split them. I kind of split it down, so I'm going to show these two games together. We have Donkey Kong Jungle Beat and Donkey Kong Country Return. Oh, I should probably. Yeah, that's right. Very, uh, I, love country, I love Country Returns. Such an amazing game. I had this game as a kid. This is basically the what, like, uh, this is bit, this is much different than the case to see Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and and Super Nintendo. Much better than Donkey Kong 64, I will say that. Donkey Kong Jungle Beat on the Wii. It was alright. I also have the GameCube. I also have the GameCube one, believe it or not. Uh, so, I do have. Um, I think I have new play control. Um, the only new play controls I'm missing now are Pikmin 2, which is actually pretty expensive, and Pikmin 1. So, pretty cool. 
All right, so sack number seven. Um, we have Metro Odoram. Pretty awesome game. Him. I mean, it's not as good as Metroid Prime, but still good. I wasn't a little bit of a fan as well because of the controls. Metroid Prime 3. And there's actually one more Metroid Prime, which we'll see in a, in a little bit. But, but also pretty cool. Mario and Sonic got the One Play Games. Winter Games. I actually loved this game as a kid. Ed. Ed. And, because, and, says, and now you can... You can one funny thing is that you can actually... Make Bowser and Eggman do figure skating. One of the most funniest things you could ever do in a game. So damn funny. We have Goldeneye 007. Not as good as the remake, but... I'm sorry, not as good as the um, 64 one, but still pretty good. We also have... Hasbro Family Game Night Fun Pack. Not fun pack, I meant to say Hasbro Family Game Night 2. I need the fun pack for the Wii, but I own this game as a kid. I just got this one recently, so. Pretty cool, I guess. Oh, this one nice. And the last of the, the better titles, um, we have. Uh, not videos, um, um, Fortune Street. I love this game. This is an awesome game. Anyone who has not played this, Please play this game is so damn good. So yeah, all right. So that's it for stack number seven. I'm gonna put some game, put the games on the table so that I can have some room. And then we're gonna get, and then after that, once we're ready, we're gonna get to the grails. The grails. All right, guys. We're now at the final stack. Um, I only have seven games for this stack, but these are the grails. The the big. The big games, the heavy hitters, the uh, savage ones, I should say. Uh, but anyway, the hard ones. These are these, the last seven games are the hard ones to find for the Wii, it and the most expensive ones. I know I said I'd be tell you the price. I can't tell you the price for all of them, them. But I mean, actually, I'm probably, I'll, I'll, I'll probably, I'll, no, I just remember scratch out. I know I said I wouldn't say the price, but I'm not gonna say the price. Um, it, but. Cause obviously I could it could get I could get outdated but but seriously though um so so these are the hard ones to find um for the Wii and these are the more pricey ones one of them there's actually one of them that's not that's pricey but that is pretty rare so but uh, other than that the last the, these games are pretty rare and I'm actually I'll tell you if the game's good or not and I also I'll also tell you where I got it, it so. Actually, most of these I got from, actually, actually, I'm trying to think about it, most of these I got from eBay. Um, no, no, I actually have a few of them that didn't get them yet. But anyway, um, we have, first of we have Castle Shikigami 3. This is an awesome shoot em up. It's pretty hard. Um, this is the last one that I don't have a manual for. Or I'm actually not going to put it in the description for this one because I want this to be a surprise. But, but yeah. This is pretty damn rare. Um, if anyone has the manual, please let me know. Um, I got this off of I got this off of eBay. Um, if I got this off of eBay, I believe for thirty dollars, but it didn't have the manual. There was another one up for sale on eBay, but it was in worse condition. But I did have the manual. Obviously, I went for the better condition, but it doesn't have a manual, so it was kind of for the same price. So, actually, um. Yeah, I'm not gonna explain the price. Um, I actually don't know the price for this one. Well, actually, um, I know I say I want to explain the price. There's actually two games I'm gonna explain. Uh, no, actually, I'm not gonna explain the price. Um, actually, no, I will say this: the seven games that I'm gonna set. If you wanna work these games up and and, and if you wanna work these games up um for yourself, um, I'm gonna leave in the link in the description called price charting. I'm gonna leave a link. In the description down below for anyone who wants to go check out the price for these. So, because it kind of dates a video if I tell the price. So, I'm, I'm going to leave a link in the description will be for price charting. So that way you can go um, check it. So that way you can go check out the current prices. Anyway, next up we have The Last Story. This is more, uh, this is probably more rare than it is expensive. Um, 
This is a game I never see, had until I never owned this game as a kid, but pretty awesome. Um, it's an RPG. The 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 second of the Operation Red Falls. I don't have seen anybody chronicles of Pandora's Tower, but pretty awesome. I did get this one off of eBay, so it was for a pretty good price. I don't have the limited edition of Fortune, but pretty cool. Um, we also have Fritz Chess. Uh, not a big fan of this one, so I'm not gonna spend too much about it. Um, I, I got this once again. I got this off of eBay. Um, but this one I actually got off of eBay. I got this off of eBay for twenty nine dollars. Technically it's thirty, but I got this for twenty nine dollars for shipping. So today I got this for a pretty good price. I thought I saw I saw this up for sale, and I had to pick it up because this is a game that's super rare. So. Very glad to have it. And no, and by the way, all of these rare games are all the things I have in video are not fake; they are legit. So I'm pointing that out. It's hard to fake Wii games. This is a game I didn't. Know. This game was not even in the running. We found out that this game was not even in the running a few years ago. But we this game skyrocketed in price, and I'm not even joking. I can't believe how much this one had jump in price. And that game is Rhythm Heaven Fever. I got this game back then, and, and I've wanted to get it for a while. Very, very glad I got this game back then, and and I got I got this off of Amazon, I believe a few years ago, and I got it very cheap. Um, so very glad I got it, cause now this game is like super expensive. So pretty awesome. And and the last two games are prob these past three games are probably probably not only the rarest games I have for the Wii. But some of the rarest games in my collection, period. So I showcased the uh, Metroid Prime 3 and Metroid Other M. But here is Metroid Prime Trilogy. I don't have the standard edition. This is the steel book. Look, um, very, very glad to have this. Um, I, I, I know I'm kind of cheating to me to say this, but I, I don't give a, I, I'm not, but I'm not taking any more bullshit. I'm going to exp explain it anyway. So you're going to hear it either way. I got this from GameStop. I found this at GameStop for I believe forty five. Um, it was actually really cool um, that I found this at GameStop for forty five, um, and it was actually the steel bag. Um, I, I did have to ask Alex to lend me some money, um, but then anyway, they were able they were able to help, and I was able to get it. So once again, thank you to Al thank you so much to Alex, um, and also thank you to. Uh, miss uh, uh to Vanessa who's Alex's mom. Um thank you so much to both of them for helping you get get a hold of this. Cause now it's in my collection and but very glad to have it. And finally, uh the last two games I have to show these last two are double packs, but they are extremely rare. This one in particular is super rare. Um and I did get these both on I'm I'm gonna get this out of the way. I got this these both from eBay, so Cause I got, and I, I'll say that, um, and I think it's fair to say I got these off of eBay. Cause you're never gonna find these. Like you are ne not gonna find these, um, these in the wild. But the last item show, um, I wanted to explain it because it's good to know. Cause they are out there. Um, this is the two for one power pack in the Opus Five Hundred W Two Aces. Um, this is complete, and this is the original man that came with it. Um, but pretty, pretty awesome. It's very amazing that I got this. And believe it or not, I got this for a very really good price. I got this for fifty for fifty dollars off of eBay. So like I mentioned before, I got it from eBay. But it's pretty cool that I have it. But this last one, oh god, I never thought I, I never thought I would actually have this. This is like pretty much the holy grail to end. All holy grails, and you will, and you will see, it, and you're actually gonna see it in the next pickup video that I do. So, because I want to get more games, I'm excited to put stuff away. But I have never, so, I'm so happy that I actually have this in my collection because this is super hard to get. This is extremely rare, but I want to make sure you guys are aware that they are out there. Yeah, they are out there. Um, and if you see, if you see one, if you are fortunate enough to to come across this for a good price, like I was off of eBay, you you will find this. Like, and I'm back, and I'm and I'm showing you, you will find this. It's not impossible to find. It's not super. It's not like one of those. 
the games that you're never going to get. All you have to do is just keep looking and eventually you'll find it. That being said, the last game I have to show is pretty much the crown jewel of my Wii collection. And that is the 2 for 1 power pack Winter Blast Summer Sports. You will see this in the pick-up video. Um, oh, but very, 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 very glad to have this. Yes, um, I have, I played Dix, I have played Dix 2, um, which is basically, um, the summer sports, but th this is super hard to find, and I'm very, very glad I have this. So, this, and again, and just as I'm not trying to brag or anything, I should have made this video, I wasn't trying to brag. But I just, hey, hi, we're going to have it though, but that, that's not what I'm trying to do, but seriously though, this is an, this is extremely rare, I'm very glad to have it, so... And all that said, that is going to do it for this collection video. This was actually was shorter than my exercise collection I made a few years ago. But this this is this was very uh, this is very long, but I hope you enjoyed. Um thanks for watching. Um oh well, um a couple things last two more things I have to mention before we go. Um number one, I will be doing a, once I get more stuff to show, I will be doing a pickup video. You know, part three, a third pick of a deal, which is actually going when I'm going to include DVDs for the first time. So stay tuned for that. Um, that, and I will I will mention on Instagram when it's gonna go up. And two, um, two, um, I'm actually and speaking of videos, I'm actually planning on talking. I'm I actually want to talk about some games in specific detail. Um, so. And of course, there's one game in particular that I love so much, and and I kind of feel, and I what and I want to talk about it so in full detail. So, so yeah. Anyway, thanks. So that being said, so but I'm I'm kind of talking about my memories of games, but anyway, that that being said, those are the announcements I gotta get out of my chest. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you guys next time. And, and bye.